Good morning. <laughs> I am headed to work. It is what 7:22. Supposed to leave at 7:15. Trying to get my meals together, but that is earlier than yesterday. I'm making progress. Um. around the thigh not as much as it used to so that I am grateful for <sighs> today is like one of those days where I know I'm not gonna have a busy day today um, and I need to get a couple of things done at the salon I need to highlight a wig and I need to rinse uh, two wigs actually so that's what I'm gonna be doing today And uh, it should be okay. Today gonna be real low key. Yesterday it was storming all day. So today, yesterday my tuna salad was so good. And like, what I did was is like, when I make tuna salad, Usually, you know, you make tuna. Like, you know, you put the mayo and whatever in. Mm -mm. I'd make it like a regular salad. And then I have the flavored tuna from Bumblebee. Which today I'm doing the spicy uh, the spicy Thai chili. Oh, so delicious. And I put my vinegar, my raspberry vinaigrette dressing. Um, a little bit of Parmesan cheese and walnuts and cranberries so it is a full meal uh because i think like that's a hundred and 160 for the two packs of tuna i put in it the lettuce i'm giving a zero calorie intake uh and then i have a little bit of parmesan cheese that might be 40 and That's 200 and then I have the walnuts and the cranberries I'm gonna give it another 75 to 100 I'll just give it another 100 calories so that's 300 um and then the dressing so I would say about 360 to yeah about 360 to 390 calories so that's a full you know, I, I would just say 400 calories. So with the 400 calories, I'm gonna do a protein bar and a protein shake. So that'll bump me up to like 750 for the day. Um, and then I might have some deli turkey and that'll bring me at 800. Um, so probably if I have a, you know, I'm probably going to be at a 900 calorie intake today. And it sounds like that's not a lot, but think about what I'm eating. I'm about to drink a protein shake. And the protein shake is going to take me to, it's 160 calories. That's going to take me, it's 725 now. I'm going to drink this before I get to work. So at about mm, 10, I'll have my daily turkey about 10, 10, 30-ish. And then around one or two, I'll do my salad. And then about four, four or five, I'll do my protein bar. Um, and then after that, then I'll probably have like one of my little vegan uh balls that I have and it's like 39 calories a piece I'm gonna probably have just one before the end of the day and then I'm not gonna eat anything tonight when I get home I'm going to make my meals for Thursday Friday Saturday um and um yeah <laughs> so it may not seem like a lot of calories but I'm still trying to talk myself into going to the gym. 
I really am. Um, you know, I really have a difficult time trying to work out. But I need to sweat. I need to, you know, mix it up. Oh, my stomach is hurting so bad. And I don't, I don't know why. I didn't, all I had was some warm water. And I took my pills this morning. And I feel this very sour feeling in my tummy. And that makes me not want to drink my uh, protein bar. I mean, my protein shake. Because I don't want, you know, that constant sour feeling this morning. Especially when you don't know what traffic gonna be looking like. You know what I mean? So, last night, I, I really did indulge. Yet last night, I ate so many pieces of my little chocolate. Uh, the lint. The Lindor chocolate. I think that's what it is. I had so many pieces of it. I had like at least three fourths of that bar. And seven pieces are 170 calories. So last night, I probably took in about 300 and 80 calories just from that chocolate bar I was craving chocolate it was white chocolate so today I'm just not gonna have any um what I'm gonna do is before I go to sleep I'm gonna make me some hot tea and put a teaspoon or two of honey uh and that's gonna give me that sweet that I need you know sometimes you need that little you know, so I think that's what I'm going to do. And, uh, yeah, because I don't want to keep, you know, putting those calories in. I was looking for my, um, I have, it's like, there's a Hershey almond chocolate bar that I wanted. And I could break a piece off of that and eat that. And because of the almonds, it's kind of like I can chew it and, you know, whatever like that. And I think it that's better for me. Um, but then again, you know, maybe I shouldn't indulge in that. I think maybe I should just get me some teriyaki, uh, some teriyaki beef jerky or something because... You know, I can pop a couple pieces of them and, and take my time and chew on it for a while before, you know, and that flavor kind of sticks on your tongue. So, yeah. God bless this lady. I pray that she gets the help that she needs. I know that she's probably calling, uh, who goes, the people that come, D D O P D or DT, I don't know. The people that come help you on the side of the road, that's, she's on the phone. And I don't know why I be like, oh, uh, because like I'm going to stop and help. And I know I'm already, you know, pressed for a uh, time. So I know that I, you know, would not be trying to, you know, I'm not going to be able to stop. <laughs> but I hate it when women are on the side of the road and it's like, uh, and you can tell she's going to work. She got her scrubs on, you know, trying to get what she got to go. And then, boom, something happens with her vehicle. And last night on my way home, that was like a pileup, like right where my exit was. So, it was like they were on the other side of the street. But I was like, oh, my gosh, you know, that is so crazy because the cars looked so messed up. And I was just like, thank God. I pray that everybody's doing okay. Um... Yeah, it gets real out here in these, these, you know, interstate streets in the VR. Um, ooh. Last night. So, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, last night, I was on such a, I think, I knew I was hungry. But yesterday, I must have been really hungry because when I got home, I made me something to eat and let me explain to you why I had took some shrimp out and it wasn't mini shrimp it, it was like what was left in the bag and I was gonna make that and put that in my salad yesterday but I was like oh you know I'm gonna try to you know do a tuna one um so when I got home I was like you know what let me hurry let me go ahead and cook this because I didn't want it to spoil 
and I didn't want to refreeze it. So I was like, okay. So it was maybe about eight shrimp and I steamed some broccoli uh, and I put some soy sauce, some garlic and some Southwest um, Mrs. Dash on it. Oh, it was so good. It was some shrimp, broccoli, soy sauce, garlic and the Mrs. Dash and I did put salt and pepper on it and I put it in some butter and it got kind of thick and sticky and uh from the soy sauce and it, it was so good it was spicy and <sighs> delicious just delicious so um I was like oh my god I'm gonna have to make this again um, but when I make it again, I'm probably gonna put some brown rice and make it, you know, with it, maybe like a half a cup of brown rice. And um, that's really gonna take it to another level. So I'm, you know, that's like, I'm like, oh, that's another little meal for me to put, you know, especially when I start working out, when I start. Um, and so that's something that I can help that brown rice, some shrimp and some broccoli. When it and it season season it good, so I was I I was like oh I'm gonna put you know let me put some um extra virgin olive oil in there. <sighs> you guys, a tablespoon of ex, of this extra virgin olive oil said it was 160 calories. I was like, no, I can't do it like. Matter of fact, I need to get me some um, very, very low fat or some, oh, uh, what is that? I can't believe it's not butter. The spray one that got like hardly no, you know, calories and trans fats. I'm going to have to get that because I don't want to be putting another 160 calories or 100 calories in just from butter or oil like you know that's just no no um so i'm gonna do that yeah you guys so today i'm taking to work i'm drinking my protein shake um let me see any nobody's messaged me yeah somebody did oh that was just for her check out today so um i am going to be doing Another tuna salad, of course. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing another tuna salad. My protein shake. I, the deli Yes, I think I already said that. The deli turkey I brought in a protein bar. So, yeah, I'm going to be, you know, I'm going to try to make it do what it do. I am, Pam. I am, I am. Friday is looking so hurt. I, I don't even, really even have anybody on Friday. I got three people on Friday. And one of them come way at 5.30 in the evening. I'm going to see if Diane wants to come on Friday. Because this person is getting you guys I'm really trying to oh this is Tammy <laughs> I didn't know what the tea was but um yeah so that's all I'm doing today I really want to get off early I want to go home um I need to work out I, I need to work out today like I need to do one solid hour of working out crunches sit-ups uh jumping jacks plump lunges planks some I, I need to really work out today um and taking taking Gabby for a walk and I really do need to order her some shoes because Gabby has some very small palms her, her palms are, are really small they like 
that be and I'd be worried that her walking and probably hit a pebble or something I, I just feel like it, it's not the most comfortable thing so what I want to do is order her some like little padded shoes so I can you know put them on her when we go walking you know she won't feel that under her feet like if a pebble or something or if the, it's getting it's about to be really hot the ground be hot you know I don't want the bottom of her foot to be you know getting all calloused up because really and truly be, Gabby don't really go we don't really take Gabby for walks and stuff Gabby is really and she, I'm not, and she likes it when we take her she likes it I know she likes it because she don't really get a chance to get out the house and that's why I brought her to Shreveport this past Sunday because she really don't get the chance to go nowhere and Gabby is such a good dog you know what I mean she don't be barking and, and acting crazy she don't do none of that so technically you really could take her anywhere you know I've taken her to Home Depot she just sitting in the buggy even if I walk her around she you know she just chill and so you know I be feeling like oh she be at home all day every day and I be wanting to get her out to do stuff so I am gonna try to take her for a walk a few times a week because and matter of fact I might need to get in a routine if I come home early now Tehran gets off way earlier than me mostly and I feel that either and then in the morning it's like we can't really take her for a walk in the morning because if we trying to you know do x y and z but you know she might like you know getting up early and the fact that it, it be still so dark at like six something it's kind of like really difficult to uh take her so early but um yeah i gotta be more consistent with taking her so i'm gonna try to incorporate that in a routine um me and Tyrone didn't really get a chance to chit chat or nothing. He was really tired. I got off late, then I went to Walmart, um, and I got home like around ten thirty, ten forty. Uh, you know, I cooked my food, and he washed the dishes and stuff. And he was so tired doing that, we really didn't even converse. So, you know, we gave each other a kiss, and he got in the bed and went to sleep. And we just kind of like was in the bed and within five minutes he was asleep and I was strolling and 10, 15 minutes later I was knocked out too. So, uh, and he seems tired even now. Because um, I think he went to sleep around 11.30 to 6.30. So, yeah, he's probably going to be pooped out around 9.30, 10 o'clock at night and probably wake up at 6. So, 10 to 6, you get him some good good sleep and um you know that'll be good for him so yeah i'm probably gonna be getting off early today like around 6 30 so i it'll still be light outside um i can come home um unpack my little bag and um we can um talk and I can you know make sure I do the things I need to do and we might need to take it before a walk um I need to go and wash some comforters my uh my stepdaughter's coming over for a few weeks so I want to make sure her comforter is clean her room is already cleaning together and um I really need to find her a, a drawer, you know, a dresser drawer, so she, when she comes over, she can unpack her clothes and not just be living out of a suitcase, so I'm going to really think on that, or I'm going to go see if um, this furniture store, Furniture Expo down the street has one that I can purchase, like, you know, and go pick up, Um, so yeah, I'm going to see that. Because, I mean, she comes and, you know, sometimes she's there for a week. She's going to be there for two weeks this time. And I just want her to take her clothes out, put them in the drawer. You know, she can see what she has. Um, and then we have a, you know. But, anywho, it's a lot of stuff going on. It's a lot of moving parts when you become an adult. And I'm not going to lie. I'm not used to having to worry about a child because I don't have children. But um, it is very refreshing, you know, her being there and bringing some youthfulness to the house. And then Gabby gets a chance to 
have someone there and they like you know sleeping and playing with each other and um so i'm happy they have a good relationship because like i said gab is such a great dog you know it's really hard not to love her but um yeah i'm stuck in traffic it's 7 42 i should have left earlier probably at seven <clears throat> it's moving it's not like at a standstill but it's still congested like bad so you guys this is my day today i'm hoping praying you know i get there in time i don't want to be late i don't want any excuses and um and i'm just preparing for a productive day so everybody just enjoy and you know i'm still doing my thing i'm still you know trying to eat you know i do have a hiccup here or there and it's not with fast food it's usually with chocolate uh but uh that was last night and it is corrected i was aware and um now i can move on so you guys i'm doing it you can do it it's just about being determined and you know when your health is good you feel good and you can make good decisions because you aren't focused on you know one thing over the other um you can move with confidence you can move in your purpose and move swiftly and um, with intention because when you have so many things that when you have so many things that's working against you mentally um it's really hard to focus on the things that's most important outside of that you know like trying to get into a routine and, and making time for your loved ones and keeping your home up uh making sure your business is running smoothly and seamless so it's it's a lot and i've been in business for quite a few years and um what I can say is, is that every year I do have an increase, increase in clients, sometimes increase in money, uh, mostly, and um, an increase in divine love and um, understanding and knowledge, so. I'm just, I'm good, and I'm loving it. So, you guys, I can all I can do is say glory to God. It is him, not me, because if it was me, I would be laying in the bed, probably on the street homeless because I just, you know, lazy. But he puts that in me, and I, I realize he is the one, not me. He is the one moving through me and allowing me to do the things that I'm doing, and I have to get myself prepared for my next transition and whatever that transition is, I, I'm, I'm preparing myself mentally uh, and physically to be able to do it. And if you, why ask for something if you're not going to put yourself in a position that when it comes, you can handle it. So that's why I'm at 36 years old. It's time out for the games and plan. You know, um, it's time to get serious about your future. It's time to get serious about retiring and, and what that looks like. And, you know, what does that part of you consist of? And although I am actively trying to get pregnant, I do know that life is about more than just one thing. And I have to stay aware, hyper aware of not trying to focus on one thing because I can't. I have a business. I have a marriage. I have, you know, stepchildren. I have family. I have friends, clients, these relationships. I can't just focus on one thing. I can really, you know, dissect what needs that urgency at the moment, but I really have to be um, multitasking and, uh, it's cool so it's all good it's all good you know i'm just living life and doing what i need to do um but yeah i'm gonna call my friend and talk to her the rest of the way to work and y'all have a good day y'all have a good day